This is Chicago's very own WGN Evening News at 6. Severe weather sweeping Chicagoland today. In Morton Grove, winds knock down tree limbs and rain is accumulating in the streets there. WGN's Dana Rebic is checking out the damage for us in the suburbs. But first, Tom Skilling is tracking the storms right now. Tom? Yes, indeed, guys. We have a couple of new warnings out. The orange areas are thunderstorm warnings. Let's give you the details on these. One covers Downers Grove, uh, Naperville, Schaumburg, Wheeling. It's in effect for sections of Cook and DuPage County until 615. Uh, one just came down uh, at uh, 6 o'clock. Here's the radar view of the storms plowing through DuPage County right now, about ready to enter Cook County, they're already in northwestern Cook County. Times of arrival gets into Naperville around 612, Lyle at 623, O'Hare 642, and you can see Ravenswood 6 uh, at 5, uh, 628. Here's a slice through just to give you an idea of the structure of the storm. It's kind of interesting. This thing towers uh, over 30,000 feet in the atmosphere, and boy, you get under it, you get the thunder and lightning and the downpours, as you can see. I think if we go to our other computer computer right here will give you an idea just uh, once ahead uh, in the coming hours. We'll have showers and thunderstorms uh, that could produce flooding. In fact, uh, a flood warning has just been issued for Cook County. There's a flood watch in the dark green areas. The ground is saturated in the wake of all the recent rains. And of course, these big cold top thunderstorms are making their way through the area right now as we speak. Here's how they'll be centered at 8 o'clock tonight, then they move on. So if we can get through the period through about 9, 10 o'clock tonight, we'll be down to just some showers and clouds lingering behind this weather system. Uh, so, and then tomorrow, the winds shift northeast, the temps tumble along the shoreline. It'll stay pretty warm and uh, muggy inland, 77, that's far cry from today's 90, but shoreline areas will go down to the 60s uh, during the uh, daytime period tomorrow. And right now in Chicago, we're at a rain-cooled 79, and the rain is coming down with thunder and lightning in some areas. There'll be locally gusty winds. No weather watches, guys, just the uh, isolated warnings uh, in a few scattered areas, and we'll keep you updated as those are issued uh, if they are required for the other parts of the area. We'll be back with that in a bit. Thank you, Tom. You bet. WGN's Dana Rebic is live in Morton Grove tracking damage from the heavy rains. Dana. Good evening, Micah. Yes, there is a house just across the street from us here. We'll give you a better look. Uh, when this storm system came through, you can see in the backyard behind that wood fence, there is a white backyard tent and a large portion of a tree that came down on top of it, narrowly missing uh, the house right next to it. Residents here tell us that this storm cell passed through here very quickly, just before 3 o'clock this afternoon with heavy rainfall and high winds. Now, we are on the east side of Morton Grove and have seen a lot of downed limbs and tree branches along Frontage Road as well as on Major and Lee Streets. A woman who lives in the home with that tree down on the backyard tent says they rented that thing for the 4th of July and were waiting to return it when this tree came down and now portions of it are all bent out of shape. Now one man we talked to who lives next door was sitting in his front room when this storm passed by. My dog, my 10 year old dog got up and kind of nudged me in the arm like, hey, dummy, you should get up. So I got up, but I was looking out the window and I've never seen rain and wind going in a circle. I mean, it was scary. We have also heard from folks that there are several down trees and power lines in nearby Northfield. It looks like, as Tom mentioned, more severe weather rolling through. And in this area, it looks like in about an hour from now, they can expect uh, more rain. Live in Morton Grove, Dana Rebic, WGN News. A lot of cleanup to do there. All right, Dana, thanks. And stay with WGN for continuing weather coverage. Tom's going to be back with your full forecast in about 10 minutes. The WGN News at 9 and 10 will then bring you the latest on the storms. And you can always get breaking updates with our free WGN News and weather apps.